Kawasaki disease is a pediatric disorder characterized by acute systemic inflammation of the arteries, and more specifically, this mainly affects medium-sized vessels such as the coronary arteries. This inflammation can cause life-threatening injuries from clotting, weakened arterial walls, and decreased blood flow, so it's important to address it promptly. The symptoms occur in three stages. The acute febrile stage lasts about one to two weeks. This includes a high fever that is unresponsive to antipyretics, erythema on the palms and soles of the feet, a rash on the chest, legs, and groin, red eyes and lips, and strawberry tongue. The subacute stage typically continues until week four to six. This is when the fever resolves, the hands and feet begin to peel, and there may be joint pain as well as thrombocytosis, which is a very high platelet level, which puts the patient at a high risk of aneurysm and sudden death. The last stage is the convalescent stage, which occurs usually within 10 weeks of onset. In this stage, the clinical symptoms resolve and the patient may develop bow lines, which are deep transverse grooves across the nails, and abnormal labs may still be present. Comment below for part two and check out the full study sheet and the nursing school success bundle.